Happy football season. We're at the Cosmo <laughs> Sportsbook on the Vegas Strip with handicap at Kelly Stewart at Kelly in Vegas and with Matthew Holt, Vice President of CG Technology Sportsbooks. It's the first full slate of college football this weekend. And Matt, what are some of the biggest games? Obviously, Florida State, number three, and number one, Bama. That one and the other ones, can you fill us in on where the action's going? So that's number one in terms of bets taken so far is Florida State, Alabama. Right behind that is the big Florida versus Michigan matchup. Obviously, Jim Harbaugh probably maybe right there with Nick Saban now as far as coaching popularity. Uh, and then a little regional bias here is we get a uh, Fox game, ISO, Sunday night. UCLA hosting Texas A&M, getting a lot of action on the Bruins. People ask me about primetime games. Usually I always tell them, the lines are always going to be tight. This Bama game, I made seven. We look up here on the big board, and it has dropped to six and a half. So what do I do? I ask my good buddy Matt, and I say, Matt, who's betting on this game? Because as much as I bash the SEC and Alabama, you have to give them credit where credit's due. Nick Saban absolutely dominates in games like this. And then when Matt tells me that public money's coming in on Florida State, Makes me look at this Bama game a little bit harder. Not set in stone yet, but I may be on Bama before this one's all said and done. Why do you think that is, Matt? Could it be, you know, the public is all over Clemson in the national title That's game? Right. Wasn't that a touchdown as well? Sure, yeah. The public was all over Clemson. They got home for him. And then there was this bad perception of Alabama's offense last year is one of the more least efficient offensive performances they've had throughout a season. But their defense and special teams made up for it, scoring 12 times on defense and special teams. But you have to remember, Alabama's quarterback, Jalen Hurts, was a true freshman last year. Bo Scarborough was young. I mean, this was a really young team on offense. And now the fact that they're actually bringing all these guys back with all the talent they have, this could be a really good Alabama offense this year. Yeah, and the Florida State quarterback, DeAndre Francois, also, you know, a couple yep. of super sophomores here. They combined for 6,130 yards, 43 touchdowns, and a 24-4 and record. Francois and Hertz as freshmen last year, so yeah. should be a really good game here. And what about the Florida-Michigan one? Um, you know, both of these are neutral site games. Florida sure. had some suspensions. Did, did that affect the line at all? And look, Michigan brings back fewer starters than anybody else in Division One this year, and it was reflective early in that line. We saw a lot of sharp money coming in on Florida early, and the second all those suspensions happened, it stopped right away. And not mo most of the guys weren't starters, but one of them really. Antonio Callaway was their best offensive weapon that Florida had. And now you add that into the fact that public Michigan money is pushing it back. Uh, this one's probably going to close closer to four than the three that it had dropped down to for a little while. I'm going to go with Florida and Florida State on that one, on, on these opening games. I know, Kelly, you said you were going to pass. How about the UCLA game? Like, what, what are your thoughts on Josh Rosen? He doesn't have that much... Uh, hype as much this year as in years past. I don't think he lives up to the hype and That's I'm not right. I'm Thank not you. exactly sold on this UCLA team. That being said, I'm not sold on AM here either. This might be just a game I sit out, maybe watch just because it's a late night game. But I've got nothing else better to do. I think this UCLA game is worth watching right away because this is the healthiest the Bruins have ever been coming into a season under Coach Moore. He's under pressure. They've underperformed their talent level every year he's been there. You know, he brought that big NFL pedigree and a big giant paycheck he's getting. There, with that comes expectations. And Josh Rosen was the number one quarterback recruit in the country. So you have a number one quarterback recruit in the country, a, quarter, a coach with a huge paycheck and NFL you know, caliber experience. This team is supposed to perform this year, and it'll be interesting to see how they get out of the gate against an SSC West foe. All right, we have some great matchups on the first full slate of college football, including perhaps the biggest opener ever, Alabama-Florida State. People are already pumped for it here at the Cosmo. That's our spotlight on week one of college football.